Right, Harley, what you doing? Transplanting the um, Alibaba. Alibaba's? What are those? What kind of plant is that? Watermelon. Watermelon. Boy, you gonna eat some watermelon? Whew. Alibaba's, boy. Do, 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 do. Praise the most, huh? Here go our microorganism solution. Everybody, as you can see, is bubbling. They are lovely. But they're doing pretty good. Praise God. Look at that. You see, you see. Using just molasses and humic acid just to see what happened. One ounce, one ounce molasses, one ounce humic acid. We just wanted to see what would happen. Here go the other one. They look like they starting to die out a little bit. Let me come this way here, get more light in there. So we're going to use that on these plant beds right quick. Um, plant it here. These are the Sikkim cucumbers. And these right here in the front are the crooked neck squash. And them in the back are the zucchini. They was in the little bitty cell trays here. And that's why they look a little small like that in the future. We want to plant them, start them off in things like this here. So we're just going to let them do their thing. They should be happy to be in these, these new homes. Um, we at moon phase wise, it's, last night it was, um, it's, it's, what is it, waning? It's waning from half to dark. So this is not the ideal time to transplant according to the moon phases. But I just wanted to see what would happen. I got tired of looking at them in there. Look like they just, they wanted more. Like they wanted more space and stuff. I just wanted to wanted to bless them and give them more space. Some of the roots, um, root balls kind of broke up, but they they look fine. You know, I think they'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? We don't want no root rot or nothing. So as you can see here, I'm moving, trying to move some of this dirt from the stem too tough, because if it get too wet and on that stem, it can rot, and we don't want that drama. I don't have any more uh, sickle cucumber seeds. Planted some last year, but I didn't get them in the ground quick enough. This year, we definitely want to get them in the ground quick as we can, you know? So that's that. That's those. As you can see here, all of these are doing great. These things are, as you can see, there are seeds in there. So as you can see, this one plant, this one plant will give us hundreds of seeds, hundreds, 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 thousands, thousands, thousands of seeds here going on. This pile here, one of the best, but we just working with what we got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a lot of hay, some manure mixed in, so we probably make a pile. Um, this bed is a lot richer than what it looked like. I'm probably gonna move this stuff off the top of it, man. I, I mean, that's just pretty much regular dirt. It might do good for some green beans, and I might stick some green beans in this bed. Might just plant green beans, this whole joker full of green beans. Um, we didn't got these rows covered with the cow manure compost. And as you can see, the mullein plants are already loving it because it didn't rain, so all that nutrients are flushed through here, and my mother plants getting it. They growing wild on their own, but I like them. We're going to keep them. This bed right here, I'm thinking about putting the okra here on the front in this area, and then back there, shoot, probably the kale, some kale, because we're going to have a bunch of kale. You know what I'm saying? Uh, squash here. These are two and a half feet apart them holes two and a half feet apart diagonally they are two feet apart here's what our rows look like before we covered them this was a lot darker at a point so since it's been out in direct sunlight it don't look as rich but <clears throat> let me show you what we really working with here okay so you see i ain't gotta go deep under you see it starting getting it's very moist under there okay so that's just the top, which is it's really really acting as a mulch. So it's going to be basically double mulched when we cover that and then get the fabric over. You understand? Same thing here, this bed here we uh, went on and 
Got my son to pour some water on it earlier today. Plan on covering it. We're probably going to inoculate it <clears throat> with the microorganism solution you just seen. And I really want to inoculate these two beds because it's probably going to be the first two beds we start playing stuff in. But I think we got a little time. I really want to get the main four rows over there. But, um, I'll pray to the most high. Let me show y'all what we got here. Look at that modeling plant, baby. So as y'all can see these rows here. One, two. And those two got some compost. You can't really tell that one and that one. Still got to get that one covered. That one covered, that one covered. That's just really sod that was flipped upside down, dirt level. We just leveled it. Feel me? And yes, the weeds there. We're going to work with them it worked with this bed so many weeds was in it you know we kind of just let it be as you can see here like it'll grow like out on the side like that look at that i can't I'm, I'm, let me not hate on the weeds they're just doing their job and if it weren't for them this whole daggone thing probably would fall <laughs> the bed wouldn't even sit up so that's that here are the six minute mark cool still in progress been working on the garden so ain't been much with that i think i want to plant some type of uh, i'm thinking about planting the chinese cabbage back here that's what's on my mind um i really want to get a cabbage planted so where the world is there gotta watch the step out here anyway we tilled up this whole area right here praise the most our god neighbor let us use this iron mule that's what they call the 50 year old tiller machine and it got deep bro look at that it did a job and we're just gonna pretty much you see that patch of jerusalem artichoke right there dig some up and place them around and we just planted all of those jerusalem artichoke from the little eyes of the jerusalem artichoke the day we cut them i believe it was the same day we just barely covered them and look like every single one of them sprouted I didn't know if they were, but it's good to see. I think it rained later that night. The moon phase around that time was, uh, I think it was waxing, crescent, early stages. So they sprung right up. I kid you not, they sprung right up. And I, I actually like, I know y'all, you see these big clumps and stuff in here. By how much compost it could be lost, I'm, I'm starting to appreciate the clumps, okay? If I had to plant some seeds in here, it might be a little awkward. But I'm appreciating these clumps because when it rains heavy, it really sinks and seeps in. And then when we cover the bed like we covered it here, it don't just sit under there and get compact like concrete. You understand? Because if it was just dirt like this here, you understand that? And it's covered and it's pressed. It, it just get more compact and it gets hard. This ain't the case here. You understand that? Because it's so, you know, just different size pieces of compost and whatever else going on in there. It really works out. Feel me? But that's that, y'all. Yeah.